Hello and welcome to this micro lesson on how to how to get a turret to point at the direction of the mouse cursor. Okay, so this is a very small game that I was helping out on. And in this instance, we have a, uh, a tank which can be moved about and the turret will follow the direction of the mouse cursor at any one point. Now, this video is just going to concentrate on how to get the cursor to, to point at the mouse. So all of this work is done within the tank, the actor itself. So what I've done is I have used tick to update the rotation of the top section of the tank. So the tank itself looks like this, and this is the actual actual top. The whole model is made out of little primitives. Now it sets the rotation by first getting the player controller and getting the hit result under the cursor by channel. So this effectively does a, uh, a line trace, like um, from the cursor to see what to see what it's hitting along the trace channel of, in this case, visibility. So this would give me the end point of the, the channel, which I can illustrate here by connecting up a draw debug sphere. So if I compile that and I play, you can see that the draw debug sphere is finding a location in the world and the the um, cannon is, is pointing towards it. Now, in order to get the rotation, what I'm doing is I'm using the find look at rotation node and I'm plugging into the top of it. The, so the start of the finding the look up is the actor's location, so that would be the, the tank act, tank actors. And then I always be using the um, the the look at the end point as the output of the get hit results of the of the cursor. Now this would give me a a look at rotation. Now I don't need or I don't want it to be to be an exact one or other I only really want to be updating the the rotation on the Yule here. So what I've done is I'll just dis break this break all the pins. So when you create a set world rotation, you will see a a box like this. However, if you right hand click on it and go split pins, you'll be able to drag out and just get the singular pins itself. Same thing here, so you can recombine and you can split split the specific pins. Now here I'm taking the Yule and adding that in because it's only on the Z Yule axis that I actually want to rotate the I actually want to rotate the head. So because otherwise I don't want it pointing up and down, I just want it rotating on one singular axis. So again, this runs off tick. I am just setting the world rotation of the top by using the find look at rotation. The find look at between the get actor location and using the get player controller to use the node get hit results under cursor plugged into the target. You don't need the draw debug sphere. Thank you.